Welcome back to downtown Sacramento business using drastic measures to keep the homeless off their property. They're placing these large boulders outside to prevent them from setting up camp. CBS 13's Ashley Sharp spoke to property owners and is getting answers on whether this homemade barricade is actually legal. Ashley. Yeah, it is legal. In fact, these property owners here reached out to the city and got the permit required to place those boulders on the perimeter of their business. Now, before that, they tried a host of other things to try and deter people from camping outside their property. For example, these stadium style lights, fencing and also noise deterrence, all of which they say didn't work. I can't feel safe. Nobody in my neighborhood feels safe. Saida Inamdar and her husband are the property owners of this downtown Sacramento building on X Street. We didn't think that, you know, overnight, literally we'd find this on our property, so it happened quite quickly. This is what the block surrounding their business looked like before city police cleared the extensive homeless camp. I stopped counting when we had 14 tents out here. Now, the grassy area that lines the building is home only to these boulders. Altogether, about 120. Kayum Mansour put them out over the weekend. We had to get a bobcat uh, with a little grappling hook to place all these. It's something he and his wife called a last resort to keep the camps from coming back. They say the crime became too much for their tenants to bear. They use this term, we're evacuating the building, we'll come back when we're safe. Open drug use of uh, prostitution, especially in, at night, waste, a lot of waste. The property owners say the boulders have brought relief. Today, a much different picture than before. Admittedly, it's not a permanent solution. It's just whack-a-mole, we're just moving the problem elsewhere. What it needs is a strong political solution, and that's what we're lacking. Bob Erlin Bush, executive director for Sacramento Regional Coalition to End Homelessness, agrees with that. We've got 7,000 people outside with nowhere to go. But not with the boulders, which he says quite literally put the unhoused between a rock and a hard place. We're literally creating no public spaces or very few alternatives for people who have nowhere else to go. Saida says they tried for months to coexist with the unhoused community here. Compassion didn't work and compassion made it more unsafe. So they picked up a heavier measure. It's one not so easily moved. It's quite, it's quite hard. Now, as you can imagine, these property owners told me all of this deterrence between the boulders, the lights, the fencing, the round the clock security that they've hired to be here on site is extremely expensive. It's cost them upwards of $20,000. I'm struck by what she said. Compassion made it more unsafe. Interesting. Ashley, interesting report from Sacramento tonight. Thank you.